All right, let's talk about a matchup or two that you feel favors Mm -hmm. the San Francisco 49ers against the Detroit Lions. Now, I must say, I looked up early odds before this game finished, actually before it started, and if the 49ers were to play the Lions, they were about a seven-point favorite. Now, I'm sure these odds will shift a little bit based on this game and how things went, but roughly you're looking at about a touchdown favorite Mm -hmm. for the San Francisco 49ers, the home team, against Detroit. And it is confirmed. They are the late game. We thought that last night, but it's been confirmed. 49ers are the late game NFC Championship. Give me a matchup or two that favors the 49ers versus the Lions. Uh, they're linebackers. Uh, mm-hmm. Alec, you know, Alec Anceloni. I mean, look, both of these teams, the Bucks and the Lions, their linebacking core in coverage is horrendous. Um, the, the, and this is the kind of thing, you know, you see the meme with Kyle Shanahan with a microscope, and then you got like they've got somebody, uh, you know, some. Uh, you know, some forlorn linebacker that's like in magnified. Um, I, I think the linebacking core. Um, I also think that Cam Sutton uh, is an aggressive corner. I think Cam Sutton is a good corner. I also think Cam Sutton is a gambler. I think their secondary likes to play with house money. They're very blitz happy. I really hope. I think Aaron Glenn will probably uh s- send some blitzes obviously next weekend i don't think he'll be quite as blitz happy as he was today i could be wrong because i think if you're going up against tampa i'll do respect you got mike evans you know and you have a chris godwin but rashad white is that threat in the backfield not as much uh, kate otten is not george kittle um but and and rashad white's not christian mccaffrey so look if by all means if aaron glenn wants to take brian branch out of the middle of the field, uh, away from a t- target. I-, I hope they do. And I think that the 49ers and I think Kyle Shanahan are going to look at those tendencies and be ready to exploit them. So, yeah, I think that the, you know, uh, as, as, as stout as like Aiden Hutchinson can be and as tough as he can be to block, um, that defense in the linebacking core in the secondary is very exploitable. Yeah, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. I also don't think Glenn is a very good defensive coordinator at He's all. Not. I think I think that he makes a lot of mistakes when it comes to adjusting on the fly. Uh, that that the way that first half ended where they were playing press as a defensive coordinator you can say, "Hey, get off. You don't have to play press on Mike Evans," which is the dumbest thing you could have done in that situation and Evans just cooks him, gets downfield quick, they score the touchdown tie it before half. It was really an unnecessary thing. I agree. The linebackers should be an easy matchup when you've got CMC. George Kittle should have a big game. That should be their main guy in offense. But then I also look at Jared Goff. And if the 49ers pass rush, listen, last night, not great. Didn't get home a lot. Didn't even get near love in a lot of situations. That can't happen again because Jared Goff can do some things if he feels comfortable. However, Jared Goff, when he's pressured, is a completely different player. He walks into sacks. I think he falls down too easily, doesn't even fight, try to fight through sacks, and he makes a lot of mistakes. Jared Goff will give you opportunities to take the ball away if he is pressured. I love that matchup for the San Francisco 49ers, and this is a quarterback who in the past the 49ers have put pressure on and have made him make many, many mistakes. So... That is something that I think the 49ers can exploit as well. And I think that, you know, you're, you're spot on. I also think another matchup, you know, you don't wish injury on Frank Ragnall's beat up a little bit. Jonah Jackson is out. Uh, yeah. You know, th- I think that's, this is a situation where you talk about getting pressure that maybe this is the game where we really, you know, cave the pocket from the inside. And, and you hit the nail on the head last night. Jordan Love was not sacked a single time last night. Uh, I don't, really know if you know sometimes we see the quarterback roll outside of the pocket like oh he was pressured um so part of the design the flow of the play i don't i don't consider that pressure just because you know the the, the quarterback decides to uh, not just escape the pocket but just move outside of the pocket so yeah he was he, he was barely uh touched last night and uh that can't happen against jared goff also jared goff is not nowhere near as elusive as jordan love so i don't think that's such an issue but yeah there's matchups though on the other side of the ball that have make you a little concerned too. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about those. Let's get to the super chats real quick. Brother Bob coming through four times. He's got a lot to say. He says, David, shall we do a shot live on camera for the NFC championship game? I think we might. I think that might happen at the NFC championship. Brother Bob says, bad matchups. Any Lions wide receiver versus Ambry Thomas is scary. Agree. We're gonna talk about some matchups that are tough. Another bad matchup, Hutchinson versus McGiveth, really scary. And then he said Campbell versus scared Kyle. This is interesting because I think that Kyle as a well obviously is a schemer and a, and an offensive play caller is incredible. Campbell doesn't call any plays but as a motivator and somebody who has balls in big situations, you're not going to get him to be scared. You're talking about complete polar opposites as coaches. I think most people would prefer Shanahan, but you do have to give Campbell his credit because he is not afraid. And that happened again in this game. Not afraid. Went forward on a fourth down. Was able to get a touchdown. That's something that the Detroit Lions will do. And that makes it hard. It's hard to defend a team that you know can go forward at any time, any part on the field, and have that extra down. And not only that, they'll do fake punts. They'll do everything. So really, it, it makes it harder to... Any any team in the NFL is hard to defend for four downs. It's just really hard to do. And this team, especially with a good offensive line, a quarterback when he's not pressured, will go through his reads, good wide receiver core, good running backs, good tight end. That can be a little bit of a scary proposition. So I, I see where you're coming from. It is an interesting contrast. 